everyone, it's Ian Norman from Lonely Spec, and today I want to talk about focusing with our precision focusing tool for astrophotography called the Sharp Star. The Sharp Star is a special type of mask, also known as a Bakhtinov mask in the astronomy community, and the slits in the mask produce special diffraction spikes around the brightest stars. And these diffraction spikes shift in position as you focus your camera lens. So when the middle spike sits evenly between the two outer spikes, the lens is perfectly focused. The Sharp Star was designed to fit in the most popular 85mm or 100mm square filter holders like the Koken P, Lee filters, or format high-tech systems. Prior to focusing, we'll get our camera ready for a basic astrophotography exposure. I'll set my exposure to its lowest F number and set the ISO to about 1600 or 3200. And for the shutter speed on our test shots, we'll want something around 10 seconds or so. To get the best results from the sharp star, we'll start by pointing our camera at the brightest star that we can find in the sky. And we'll want to make sure that it's as close to the center of the frame as possible. Then we can use the live view magnification function on the camera to zoom in on the bright star. Now, depending on your lens, it might already be possible to see the diffraction spikes. And if that's the case, you simply adjust the focus until the central spike sits evenly between the two outer spikes. If you can't quite see the diffraction spikes, do your best to manual focus as usual, paying attention to the size of your target star, and try your best to find the point of focus where the star appears the smallest and the most symmetric in shape. When you think you're close, make a test shot. When the test shot is complete, play back the photo and use the magnification function to zoom into the bright star and check the alignment of the diffraction spikes. If the middle diffraction spike is just a little off center, readjust the focus and make another test shot. Once you have the middle spike evenly positioned, you can remove the sharp star and start shooting photos just like usual, knowing that you have perfect focus on the stars. For a different look, you can also install the cross star effect filter while you're shooting to create a cross-shaped diffraction spike effect on the brightest stars of your image. If you want some guidance on choosing a good exposure for photographing the Milky Way, check out our Milky Way exposure calculator at lonelyspec.com calculator, or read our complete article on how to photograph the Milky Way at lonelyspec.com slash howto. To learn more about using the Sharp Star and to order your own, visit lonelyspec.com slash sharpstar. Once again, my name is Ian Norman. I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial. If you want to see more astrophotography videos, please subscribe. And visit the lonelyspec.com homepage for all of our gear reviews, tutorials, and inspiration. See ya!